Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, something uh, else actually arrived at the same time as the update last week for Windows 11 22H2. So of course um, there was the uh, famous bug fixing update. Uh, we knew that Moment 3 was actually arriving uh, pretty much at the same time but something that doesn't show in Windows updates but that is um, a feature that can be turned on or off, and it's what Microsoft calls the controlled feature rollout, um, began, of course, to update also quietly in the background. And this is what actually brings some of the Moment 3 features. So, of course, there's a lot of the things that we talked about of Moment 3. But one of the things that also is mentioned in here is that this apparently quietly brings the operating system in a different state, a different speed. They're talking about how there is improvements in this latest update in the speed of response of the file explorer, the taskbar, and the different parts of Windows, to and even the startup of apps that apparently is uh, supposed to be noticeable, especially if you're running for example, two, if you had two machines that were exactly identical, you were running the basic 22H2, and you were then trying the same options and the same apps on 22H2 with this new Moment 3 rollout, um, apparently you would see a difference in speed and performance. So I can't say I don't really see that improvement, but I can't compare either because if, you know, uh, it was already fast and it's a little faster, I don't really see it. I would need to have exactly the same machine running uh, two different versions of Windows 11 22H2 to see if there is such a difference. But that's what Microsoft says. Apparently there is. For gamers, apparently also the performance is better, especially if you're gaming with mouse and keyboard. Uh, apparently the refresh of the mouse and the keyboard is made now in a way that it actually has a much smoother uh, impact on the, um, the gaming performance and the overall operating system. So this is uh, something that they are talking about. Unfortunately, um, I can't really test much of that, but... I've seen a couple of reports where there's been some tests done. And although the performance and the speed is maybe not as much as what Microsoft says, apparently it is there. So apparently there is an improvement in speed in many aspects of Windows. So it's kind of interesting. So it's, it's um, once again, you know, when you have the update of last week, you have the bug fixes. But what really turns on the feature is what's called the controlled uh, releases and these are the ones that are actually uh, doing the uh, the uh, work and making all of the uh, different um, features turning on and off so uh, this is controlled feature rollout as they say now it's not clear if everybody has the same control feature rolled out if they're doing it on some machines and maybe not I've seen a lot of comments of people saying that they don't see some of the, the features um, that I've shown. So I don't know if, you know, it, it could, totally could be possible. I said it last week. Microsoft last time on twenty on the Moment 2 and even on the first Moment 1 actually had new features, but not everybody had the same new features. So it's one of those weird ways that Microsoft is pushing the new feature updates if you don't have them now, they will arrive at some point. They, they, they all, you know, they, they get through everywhere at some moment here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.